Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're making mashed potatoes. You might think it's pretty simple to make, but there are a few tips and tricks to get it perfectly smooth, creamy and fluffy. So if you want to learn how to make the best mashed potato, then let's get started. The most important thing to making mash is using the right potatoes. There are three overall different types of potatoes, waxy, in between and starchy. Waxy is for stews and salads, in between is multi-purpose, and starchy is perfect for roasting, frying, and then of course mashing. The starch in the potato produces a light, fluffy, and smooth mash that absorbs butter and milk easily. Whereas the waxy potato is difficult to break up, so it won't get perfectly smooth and the mash will turn out quite stodgy. If this is all too much information about potatoes for you, luckily most stores label the potatoes with which cooking method it is best for, so pick up the roasting kind. I'm using three large sized potatoes for this recipe, which will be enough to serve four. As a rule, one medium sized potato per person. Wash the potatoes to remove any dirt on the skin and use a potato peeler to remove the skin. You can make mash with the skin still on, but I much prefer the texture if it's removed. Cut the potatoes up into smaller pieces. You can just boil the potatoes whole, but cutting them up simply cuts down the cooking time. Make sure the cubes of potatoes are relatively the same size, so they cook evenly and you don't end up with some cooked and some raw in the middle. I like to give the potatoes a quick rinse and then place them into a saucepan. Fill the saucepan with cold water to cover the potatoes and place over medium high heat. It's really important that you always cook potatoes from cold water rather than throwing them into boiling water like you would with pasta. This gives the inside of the potatoes more of a chance to come up to the same temperature as the outside and also a longer time for the starch to soften. Cook the potatoes until extremely tender and nearly falling apart. This took about 20 minutes for me, but of course it depends on the size of your potatoes. Drain the water in a colander and shake to remove as much water as possible. Place the cooked potatoes back into the same saucepan and keep on the heat until there is no longer large amounts of steam. Don't worry if your potatoes are really starting to fall apart at this point, it means they are well cooked and will mash smoothly. I'm using a potato masher to mash the potatoes, this honestly is all you need, but if you do have one, a potato ricer works great too. Begin to mash the potatoes without adding any butter or milk, just break them all up. This will look extremely crumbly, we just don't want any large bits of potato. Season with salt, then start to add room temperature butter. The recipe will be in the information box and on my website if you would like the amounts. It's important that the butter is at room temperature as we don't want to cool down the potato, as this will turn the mash extremely gloopy and unappetizing. Continue to add the remaining butter and mash. This recipe does have quite a large amount of butter in it, but honestly it's the only way you will get perfect mashed potato. Next is milk. Make sure you've warmed up your milk. Never use cold milk as this will change the consistency of the potato. I don't usually use a large amount of milk, it depends if you like your mash thick or not. Just add small amounts at a time until you are happy. And lastly, give it a taste. It should be silky smooth, creamy and fluffy. Taste for seasoning. If it needs more, add salt or pepper. Remember to always taste your food. You'll be amazed with how much a pinch of salt can change the flavour. Spoon the mash into a bowl and smooth down with the spoon. I'm adding chives to make it look pretty, but it really doesn't need anything else. I hope you've found this video helpful, let me know if you make it. 
If you haven't already, take a look at this recipe for chocolate salted caramel tart. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!